Welcome back, I am St. James, and today we're going to be discussing the next helmet, which is considered one of my favourite helmets. It is Nezarek Sin. Nezarek Sin is a void specific exotic helmet. The way it works is as the armor perk of Abyssal Extractors. Void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate. This means you'll get a recharge in your melee, your grenade, your rift, and your super. The percentages are you get 2.35% increase in your rift, 3.65% increase in your grenade and melee, and 0.67% increase on your super regen. Abyssal Extractors start at 2.5 seconds, and when you get more kills with a void weapon or void ability, they go all the way up to 20 seconds, so that'd be 20 seconds worth of regen overall. For the background footage, I've been doing the Spicer event, running no mods on my gear apart from uh, like Fusion Loader and just general generic mods, nothing that actually affect the regen of stats. And as you can see from my stats, I'm running 28 mobility, 31 resilience, 82 recovery, 61 discipline, 58 intellect, and 32 strength. As Nezarek Sin boosts regen of all abilities, I would prioritize super regen over anything else. The reason being, so if we have a look at the mods that you can use, for, so for the headpiece, I'd use something like Dynamo or Power Preservation. Uh, for the arms, I actually wouldn't choose any of the mods on screen. You could actually choose something that boosts your grenade cooldown or your melee cooldown if you wanted to spec into that. But personally, I feel like the mod slots could be utilized somewhere else. For your chest, higher end content, you could use something like concussive dampener, uh, sniper damage resistance, etc. But for low end content, you won't need this. So I'd utilize either artifact mods or combat style mods. Again, for the legs, if you want to utilize more grenades, you go for something like Innovation. If you wanted to utilize something like more melee attacks, you go for Invigoration. If not, I wouldn't choose anything from the general mod screen as well for the legs. And for your class item, I wouldn't use any of these mods either, because I'd either use an Artifact mod. So for Elemental Well mods, you could use something like Elemental Ordnance if you're top tree Voidwalker. For bottom tree, I would probably stick with Melee Wellmaker, while you're going to be devouring your grenade anyway. Or you can use elemental armaments. You could pair this with the likes of Font of Wisdom, Energy Converter, Elemental Charge to pair up with uh, Charge Relight mods. If you go into the Charge Relight mods, taking charge is very good to get Charge Relight. If you're using a specific weapon type, you can go for a Quick Charge or Blast Radius. If you're looking for more sustained, you can go with Protective Light. And if you're going for increased damage, High Energy Fire is the number one thing. Don't forget, if you're doing Charge Relight mods, uh, you can also increase the amount of stacks that you're holding at one time. This is with the likes of stacks and stacks and charged up. Taking a look at the artifact, you'd want to go with something like hands-on, which slots into your headpiece. You gain super energy on melee kills. You can also go for the likes of well of potency if you're going with elemental wells. And also use the likes of particle deconstruction if you're running a fusion or linear fusion rifle. Next, we're going to be talking about weapon rolls. So the likes of Thresh would be really good. Killing combatants with this weapon generates a small amount of super. Get you super a lot faster. You could also use the likes of Osmosis, which I recommend more than this. So when you throw your grenade, your gun will start shooting whatever element your subclass is until you stow it away. So the only two negatives about Nezarek Sin are you've got to micromanage your Abyssal Extractors. If the area's not got a lot of enemies in, you're not going to be able to have increased uptime of your abyssal extractors which means your regen rate might be a little bit too low and the only other issue is it's it synergizes best with the void class it doesn't synergize that well with other classes at all making it less versatile than other exotics so now i've covered two out of three of my favorite exotic helmets the last one is eye of another world i'm going to be covering that in the next couple of days like I said in the last video, this is very beginner friendly, it's just briefly going over it. If you want to see a more in-depth build, let me know and I'll make a more in-depth build for the channel. Please like, 
subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.